Cowboy Ryan Sand. His opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, at 230 pounds, Kevin Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan moving out against uh, Ron Bass. One fall, 20 minute time limit, and it's Bass with that uh, broken hand, but he's uh, using that uh, cast rather effectively right now. Bass, of course, we've had quite a string of injuries. Uh, Buddy with uh, uh, Barry Windham uh, coming back after a concussion. Now Mike Graham is out, uh, injured by Roddy Piper, and Ron Bass, of course, with his broken hand. That's right. It seems like wrestling has been getting completely out of hand here, Gordon. There's been so many injuries here. Uh, Ron Bass at least can function properly with this, uh, this plaster cast on his hand. But then Barry Windham is out. Now Mike Graham is out. And right now it seems like uh, Kevin Sullivan is in a lot of trouble. You know, when you had Kevin over here for the interview, it sounds like he is awfully worried that Dusty Rhodes, four days, four more days, Dusty Rhodes can come back and face him man on man. And his contention is right now from Kevin Sullivan that Dusty is hiding behind the mask, but Dusty is the kind of man that does not have to hide from anyone, Gordon. Well, that's a matter of fact. Barry Windham, of course, back in action at 110%. And it is Ron Bass. And, of course, it's not unusual uh, in the Super Bowl and any uh, real football game. You're going to find uh, one of the players with a cast on somewhere. And uh, Bass is no exception to the rule here tonight uh, uh, in this wrestling match against Kevin Sullivan. Sullivan, of course, out of uh, Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Bass uh, out of Pampas, Texas. You know, with a uh, cast on your wrist or on an ankle or something like that, uh, the cast does give you almost absolute protection. In fact, sometimes the cast can even be used as a weapon. It's uh, rock hard. It's very solid. Uh, you can, uh, if you beat a man upside the head with a cast, I think the head will give in before the cast does. So it gives you good protection on there. And uh, look, right, right now, Ron Bass does have him, Kevin, in a lot, of, uh, a lot of pain, a lot of trouble right now. As a single arm bar now on uh, Kevin Sullivan as they go across to the far side of the ring. We are located, by the way, uh, directly at ringside. And uh, our cameramen, of course, we've been on a, uh, an elongated tour uh, around the country, pausing here in uh, the great Cigar City at Bass, taking a lot of punishment to the side of the head, the flat of the foot of Kevin Sullivan, flashed out repeatedly to the side of the head and ear of Ron Bass Sullivan. What? He came off the ropes and was passed, connecting very solidly. And I would say that Bass is staying a bit ahead of Sullivan in this match so far. Well, if this was going to be judged on points, uh, Gordon certainly would be uh, Ron Bass. But uh, let's not ever underestimate Kevin Sullivan. Kevin Sullivan is very wily and tricky. But right now, it's, it's absolutely Ron Bass has the upper hand. Uh, if Ron don't turn his back on him, he stays right on top of him. He's got Kevin on the run right now. And the people are, the crowd's going wild now. Catching him with a good forearm to the side of the head. Sullivan misses with a hard right hand. And you can hear the appreciation of the crowd here. And it is a jam-packed crowd of over well, thousands and thousands of people here in the building. And it is a Kevin Sullivan directly over our broadcast table. And Bass brings him up. There's that uh, power. Of, wait a second. Angelo Mosca just hit the ring. Mosca just hit the ring. The referee calls for the bell. Bass using that pass very effectively. And Mosca ducking away from Bass as Bass is trying to get him cornered. And it moved. Yeah, there's Kevin with a chair in the ring. They're going wild. They're going to need some help here. Something's going to happen.